we go. Starting off CNC break 13,000 milestone, baby. And you know what the scary thing is for those in there and saying holy moly amount of boxes? I literally have a bigger stack over here that you guys cannot see that still have to go on this table. It's going to be epic. And I probably will lose my voice at some point. Not yet. I think so. Portrait Boston Bruins to Rask. Hold on a second. I just want to make sure this is not wobbling for you guys all night. That would not be fun. When it hangs over just a bit the edge, it wobbles a bit. We've got a young gun for the Montreal Canadiens of Della Rose. Thank you. I appreciate that, guys. Again, pretty pretty simple. I, I, I should be thanking all of you guys to be able to hit that. I don't do that myself. For the Rangers, Lungfish, Shining Stars. So, we always appreciate you guys uh, doing this for us. So, Jonathan Quick for the LA Kings. Game jersey. It's kind of nice after, what is it, 12 years now? 12 years of doing this. <laughs> it's pretty damn nice. JVR for the Maple Leafs. Canvas. We've got a Poirier Young Guns for the Calgary Flames. I'm curious which is going to be the last team to get a hit. What's going to be the last team? Corey Crawford for the Chicago Blackhawks. <laughs> Rich, I wouldn't be surprised, as I said. I still stake my claim that she is by far the best female breaker in the industry, so. Not only does she know her stuff, she knows 99% of the names very well. She actually knows hockey. She doesn't just break for the sake of breaking. Colleen Young Guns for the New Jersey Devils. Eric Carlson for the Ottawa Senators Canvas. And we got a base. Uh, no, we don't have any. We have some small cards, Tyler. We don't have any more of uh, any trios. To be honest, I'm selling one on auction right now on my personal eBay. But she runs really well. I don't know where you saw her running. <laughs> Unless you meant like running this very well. <laughs> Not physically running. We've got a retro rookie of Barzol for the Islanders. What trio? I think it's a Makar one. Canvas of Kadri for the Maple Leafs. Oh. Young and Scott Wedgwood for the Devils. Levis. We've got a Taylor Hall rainbow for the Devils. Yeah, she does a great job, honestly. Portrait of Sanford for the Capitals. As well, do you think I lost my voice in 12,000? I think that was the time when I had, like, no voice. Blake Spears for the Devils. Portraits. Young Guns, Nick Baptiste. She's your lady luck. Yeah. As I said, me and her, we're both legitimately happy when we get big cards. We got a Tuka Rask canvas. Yeah, I think it was my uh, fan. I think it was a Dyson fan, to be honest. Zach Sanford, marquee rookie for the Capitals. Marky Rookie of Baptiste for the Buffalo Sabres. And we've got a Kyle Rowe Young Guns for the Panthers. I would be curious to see what the, like, the long term... Because I would presume this is not... I'm not saying anything like singing. But what this does to lungs long term. Because the amount of effort... To continually talk for hours every single night and then be super hyped up and like yell. 
I hope it's okay for my lungs down the road. I think I'll be fine. I'll deal with it then when I'm breaking when I'm like 70. And now we've got... We've got for the Habs, Young Guns Canvas, Charlie Lindgren. So as mode, some of them we obviously help the people locally uh, who are doing shows and stuff like that. So we, we move it to some of them. We also um, donate to sick kids and hospitals. Now they are not taking it because obviously reasons. Our Tammy Panarin Canvas, Chicago. <laughs> Well, we'll see if I'm breaking by then. For the Flyers, Young Guns, Travis Konechny. I can tell you in all honesty, I will happily break until I possibly cannot. Portrait of Bennett for the Calgary Flames. So I really hope a lot of you guys are around when I'm getting really old. <laughs> yeah, Jack Hughes. All that stuff just kills it. Essa Lindell, Young Guns for the Dallas Stars. I am extremely blessed with the job I have. Shining Stars, Rainbow for the Nashville Predators, James Neal. As I said, the hours that we put in, I will tell you it is very exhausting, but I am definitely will never change that. Ryan Johansson for the Nashville Predators canvas. Keep in mind, it's still about a 65-hour gig a week. Drew Doughty, Portraits for the LA Kings. And that's the lowest amount of hours I've had since I started this business, which was like 12 years ago. Michael Matheson, Young Guns for the Panthers. So you miss a lot of family time and cool events, but I'm doing a job that I dreamed of when I was a kid, so I feel like I can't complain. Shining Stars of Patrick Kane for the Hawks. Yeah, you know what, it's not a, honestly, J-Ban, it's, it's nothing to do with working for myself. It's obviously a massive perk. It, it more so is I'm doing something I actually genuinely love doing. Like, I love opening hockey cards. I'm, the one thing that aggravates me, you guys know this, and I've said this many times, I hate, sorry, not hate. I find it weird when dealers are not collectors. Because then it's only about business. I am absolutely, absolutely 100% a pure collector, like heart all the way through. Brad's a podcaster, yeah. We got a Reed Duke for the Vegas Golden Knights Young Guns. Last I know, and I don't know if I'm supposed to be telling you guys this, but I think it works uh, at Hockey Life here, um, close to us. Young Guns for the Maple Leafs, Nick Robertson. Nick Robertson. That's cool. Well, right now I'm getting my son, my uh, my older son, to start opening uh, Tim's packs, so I have to get those quite a bit. Portrait, oh my God, that's horribly cut. Of Barkov, that's probably one of the worst portraits cuts I've seen in a long time, maybe ever. Looks like he's wearing a mask just with his face. What age I start collecting? I think like seven, seven or six. My dad, uh, when I used to play hockey games, he literally used to bribe me. He uh, he would be in the stands. Canvas of Ryan Johansson for the Preds. And under his jacket, he'd have like packs of cards and he'd wave them to me if I don't hustle more in the next period. So, I worked hard for my hockey cards, I'll tell you that. We got a young gun to Vanasek for the Washington Capitals. What do I collect? Uh, I do all sets that I enjoy. Um, Trilogy, I do Trilogy, SBA, Black Diamond, uh, Matthews, I'm probably the world's biggest Matthews collector, woohoo, um, 1516 Diamond, 1617 Diamond, Huberto Dazzlers for the Florida Panthers, uh, Showcase when it was out, I did all those clear showcases, I love that stuff, uh, I collected Joe Colborn when he had cards, so that was a good collection. Canvas of Sveshnikov for the Carolina Hurricanes. So. But Matthews is my big boy right now. Portrait of Evans for the Habs. That is my uh, that is my primary, primary focus. Base. Favorite card I do. Um, 
Perico for the Blues canvas. So my favorite, favorite card, game jersey, Phil Kessel for the Coyotes, is actually a Zenith uh, Z team of Eric Lindros. And I'll tell you a quick story if I can somehow do the story in between the opening and you guys not hopefully getting frustrated. So I was a big Lindros fan when I was a kid, massive Lindros fan. And obviously Zenith Z team, if anyone remembers those, it's the one that he's on like the, the shield and he's flying through the stars. Really funky looking card. Man, these portraits are god awfully cut. Patterson for the Vancouver Canucks. So that was the card I really, really, really wanted. So come Christmas time, Robertson, Jason Robertson for the Dallas Stars Young Guns. My dad got me some packs and I'm guessing you can guess the storyline. Oliver Ekman Larson, canvas for the Coyotes. I hit a Z team of Eric Lindros. I still have it to this day. So let's fast forward about 20, 25 years, okay? Because I think I was about seven, six or seven when I opened that card. Or I don't know, I actually remember the exact age. But fast forward at least 20 years. Lindstrom, Young Guns for the Red Wings. It literally came in a conversation because somebody asked me what my favorite card was and my dad was beside me. Portrait of Bergeron. So I explained that's my favorite card. And then my dad said, it's funny that uh, how you got the card, right? And I go, what do you mean? We got a new Stamenko, Young Guns, for the Philadelphia Flyers. So, of course, I'm intrigued now. What does he mean by how I got my card? Long story short is he actually bought me that card. Somehow, I didn't notice it because I was like a six-year-old kid. I think he either taped or like stapled or something the bottom of the pack and put it in a pack of cards for me on Christmas and basically, you know, know that I was going to get that card no matter what. I legitimately never knew that until I was about 30 years old and he just randomly slipped and said that and I turned him like, what the hell? I was like, I never knew this. And he goes, I swear I told you this a long time ago. And I was like, I literally just found this out right now that the card that you gave me, you planted it. So it is still my favorite card. I still have it. And I'll never get rid of it for any amount of money. Dazzlers of Quinn Hughes for the Vancouver Canucks. But I thought that was hilarious. We got a Young Guns, Shane Bowers for the Avalanche. I do have a cup rookie patch auto, yes. As I said, I would deem myself the world's biggest Matthews collector. I would challenge pretty much anyone on that, I think. Portraits of Bellows for the Islanders. Guaranteed hot pack, essentially. Martin Cott, Young Guns for the Avalanche. I just thought it was funny because he just, uh, he just said, like, very commonly... <laughs> Like, oh yeah, it's kind of funny. I planted. I'm like, um, I didn't know this. Bo Horvat for the Vancouver Canucks canvas. We've got a rookie retrospective of Olafson for the Buffalo Sabres. Uh, I did not pull that one. No, I acquired it. A lot of my Matthews I acquire, sadly. OEL for the Coyotes. Most times, if a product's very hot, I do not open any because I want to save it for you guys and breaks and stuff. Shifley game jersey for the Jets. And obviously being a Toronto-ish based company, Matthews year stuff was not hard to move and I needed to preserve what I could. We got a worldwide of Pedersen for the Canucks. We got a portrait of Ben Bishop for the Dallas Stars. Um, I would have to see the, uh, the, the picture of it to know the exact... We got a dominant, predominant of Tuka Ras for the Boston Bruins. But it's the one that he's sitting on, like, on a shield, and he's flying through a few stars. Philadelphia photo, obviously. Portrait of Konechny for the Flyers. So if that is what you're talking about, then probably yes. Shesterkin, canvas for the Rangers. Um, Dylan, yes. Uh, quite a few guys got some old uh, Parky and uh, cards done by MT. Darcy Kemper, predominant for the Coyotes. Sorry, sorry to not answer you quickly. Young Guns Canvas of Baudin, Chicago Blackhawks. 
But yeah, one of these days, I think when I'm kind of near retirement. What? First big one of the night. Alexis Lafreniere. Bum, 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 bum. Lafreniere. Young Guns. Boom. Well, again, by the way, if anyone uh, wants cards graded, please let me know earlier so I can pull them. The stacks are going to be quite large, obviously. Carlson for the Hawks, Young Guns. Matthews, Red Rainbow Auto. Is it rookie year? Harkins, Young Guns for the Winnipeg Jets. Anything rookie year, Matthews Limited. I will happily take an interest in. We've got a Darcy Kemper for the Coyotes. So if any of you guys have some nice high-end Matthews, I am the man to deal with. Mikey Anderson for the LA Kings Young Guns. Except if it's a 101 top draft picks. That went way more than I thought. Bertuzzi for the Red Wings Canvas. Utterly shocked on that one. We got a debut of Makayev for the Maple Leafs. And, oh, that's nice. We've got a signatures for the Maple Leafs, Andreas Johnson. So, Aaron, I only do Ricky or Matthews, sadly. So thank you for bringing that up, but I apologize. Do not need it. So in terms of other sentimental cards, uh, whoever asked that earlier, anything that I've had an influence on, just so you guys know, anything I've had an influence on, I generally either do the sets or I collect a single card of it. And influence basically means like maybe some ideas that I came up with. Um, so I, I definitely... I should have done a lure next. Ah, oh, whatever. Let's keep going. I definitely have uh, a few cards that I have, like, single cards of that I, I single-handedly helped build, create, whatever you want to call it, the idea. Um, so I have those in my collection. So, I'm trying to think of some of the ones I have, I can tell you guys. For the Red Wings, Shadow Box Jersey of Anthony Mantha. Shadow box for the Red Wings, Mantha. I can tell you I have the ticket booklets from Cup. 149 of Morrissey. I only collect one of them because it's more of a memento for me. Shadow box rookies, Morrissey. So that's one of my bad boys. We've got for the Oilers a 399 of Paul Uyarvi. Pull you, Yarvi. And we've got, that's a nice one, for the Oilers to 199 Impressions autograph Leon Dreisaitl. Leon Dreisaitl, 199. Oilers. Well, Oilers are getting some of their fix in right now. All right. SBX. I might have to move these cases off uh, just so you guys know after. <laughs> because I want to get all the other product on here so I can just kind of keep the flow going. So after I go through this, I'm going to move those and put the new stuff on there just so you guys know. Oh, those are nice cards. Forgot about how nice the base cards were on this. Nice and shiny. Base. A McDavid 99. I am praying, honestly. I really do hope. SP Excitement 99 for the Sharks of Joe Thornton. Base. We've got an SP excitement for the Habs of Scott Gomez. 999. Levis. All I hope for is when we get to the big cases that we get some big stuff. That's you just want to have a break like this deliver some absolute beast pulls. That is always the goal, so.
Base. We've got a winning materials dual jersey for the Anaheim Ducks, J.S. Jaguar. We've got an SP rookie, ex rookie to 49 of Kevin Quick, Tampa Bay Lightning, probably just like his career. We've got a rookie jersey auto to 799 for the Anaheim Ducks, Brian Salcedo. 799 Anaheim Ducks. I always like those jersey autos. Ouch. <laughs> you need some entertainment sometimes in your head. I always think of things. Well, that'll be a fun random. A winning combos dual patch numbered 8 of 25 between the Penguins and the Capitals. Sidney Crosby... And Alex Ovechkin. Crosby OVO8 of 25 dual patch. Well, that's our first. Other than Lafreniere, a pretty damn big card in my opinion. It's nice when you have old boxes like this and you get some cool stuff like that. We've got a SP excitement to 999 of La Cavalier for the Tampa Bay Lightning. And we've got a 799 Ray Messias Machias for the Avalanche jersey. You ready to go? Okay. I just gotta let Anna out and I will be right back. <laughs> grade, grade, grade. Glenn, I appreciate that. I said I got, they, you know, I, I feel pretty happy that they gave me a whole bunch of cards anyway, so. In terms of, like, the sets that they produce that I come up with. All right. Well, to give you an idea, I'll tell you some cool stuff uh, that's kind of come through. Uh, so Black Diamond, if any of you guys remember the old Black Diamond, where it was uh, small, the change to the high-end one and the diamonds, that's one of my babies. So, or And when I say one of my babies, guys, it's not just solely me coming up with this. Like, It was just an idea, and then it stemmed from there, and then we kind of made, you know, a nice switch on those. We got a McDavid orange base for the Oilers. And a nice Premier's jersey of Emil Bemstrom for the Jackets. But that, uh, that was a cool change that I was part of. So that's why I do, I do the Diamonds every year. We've got a green of Kucherov, Tampa Bay Lightning. We've got for the Rangers, 149 Retro, Capo Caco. Yeah, the cup ticket booklets, that was one of my babies. That was cool. Acetate Young Guns, uh, that's one of my babies. I was happy with that. Ice Premier's Jersey, Quinn Hughes. Uh, Platinum. Platinum was, uh, I remember exactly where we had the conversation with, with one of the guys at Upper Deck. That was a cool one. Dubois for the Blue Jackets Green. And we got a 199 Ice Premier's autograph, Leas Anderson for the Rangers. That's why I say if anyone wants to, uh, I, I absolutely deeply care about uh, the hobby. So McDavid Green for the Oilers and a 1299 of Beck Malenstein. 101 Young Guns would be awesome. I mean, that probably is going to be a very long time before that ever happens. They like to preserve their 101s, I can tell you that. 
Rontanen, Avalanche Green, and a 4.99 Sam Lafferty. Fun fact, uh, since the one says so about Goodwin, I should have a card in there. Panini actually technically built a card for us. I don't know if any of you guys know that. But they did kind of a nice little tribute nod to us, which I always, always, always really appreciated. Um, but they actually built a card specifically for us. But it was very uh, quietly done and professionally done, which it made me extremely happy. Do any of you guys know what that card is, potentially? Sub-Zero, Stamkos, Tampa Bay Lightning. We've got for the Devils, six ninety nine World Juniors of Blake Spears. I'm guessing nobody probably knows what that card is. <laughs> for the Panthers, number to one twenty five, exquisite signatures, Jonathan Huberto. There we go. Somebody knows what card it is. Jonathan Huberto. It was a, well, they did a dual jersey and a dual patch version from the anthology, the last version they did. And they deliberately had a dual card with Kluche on the top, Chara on the bottom, so it could be Klutz and Chara. Alan Quinn, the 12 99 rookie for the Islanders. And even on the back of the card, if you read it, it says Kluche and Chara. <laughs> but that was a nice little nod to us. Sonny Milano, Fresh Threads. And I said, I have that card at home. I said, any card that has any meaning to it, I have that. And a $9.99 of Brandon Tanev for the Winnipeg Jets. Oh, I got a good one that you guys may not know. Do you guys like the Bounty Program? Do you guys enjoy the Bounty Program? Hopefully you guys do. <laughs> If not, well, then we're not friends. Kind of. Well, Artifacts Bounty, Future Watch Spectrum Bounty, any of the bounties, essentially. Green of Say Again for the Dallas Stars. And a twelve ninety nine Robinson. Blue Jackets. But here's the honest good news. Here's the honest good news, guys. We got a green of Larkin for the Red Wings. And a Willie O'Ree, and that one too. Willie O'Ree for the Boston Bruins. Glacial Graphs. There's two of them on eBay. That's sweet. You just bought the Com C. That's amazing. That's amazing. Sub Zero Carlson for the Sharks. Appreciate that. As I said, it's a nice little card. I was very appreciative of that. That means a lot to me, so. We got a Keller for the Coyotes green. And we got a Sub-Zero of Mark andre Fleury for the Golden Knights. Uh, Glenn, to kind of answer your question also late about Goodwin, I have presented that idea about not just us, but like a lot of other stores or influential people in the hobby. They want to steer clear of that. For the Capitals green of Kuznetsov, Ryan Donato for the Boston Bruins. Ryan Donato, Boston Bruins exquisite rookie. I think they look at it kind of like a conflict. They don't want to, you know, favor certain people. Bergeron Green for the Boston Bruins. And a 999 Roar Chartier. The bounty, if you like artifacts bounty, the Spectrum Gold set the bounty. All the bounties. Blake Wheeler for the Jets Green. And a 999 Sub Zero of Kotkin Yemi for the Montreal Canadiens. Yeah, like, I think when you kind of go outside of the hobby a bit, it's easier. But, like, my recommendation, for example, there's one gentleman at Upper Deck. Um, his name's Grant. He is probably, in my opinion, one of the most important people in the industry. In terms of his building capabilities, what he's given to the hobby, his insight. Like, he is a mastermind on this kind of stuff. And I would love to be able to give guys like that the honest credit. And I think people should know that these guys in my opinion, are legitimate superstars in our industry. Like, they they are massively influencing every day what we enjoy, so. Marky Rookie of Lazat for the LA Kings. T. 
Timo Meyer for the Sharks. So I proposed that idea, and they just they wanted to steer clear. Boke Fist for the Hawks, Marky Rookie. Calder front runners of Makar for the Avalanche. We've got a sunset parallel of Gibson for the Ducks. Yeah, no, it's some cool stuff. That's a diamond uh, that resurrected that brand. Texier for the Blue Jackets, Marky Rookie. Miro Heiskanen for the Dallas Stars. But we like to kind of keep everything in the back end and not let people know much. Marky Rookie for the Sabres. And we got a retro rainbow of John Gibson for the Anaheim Ducks. But I will tell you guys, Upper Deck has some really cool stuff coming up. They always are very considerate of the hobby and collectors and all that. Mario Ferraro for the Sharks. And we've got a Patrice Bergeron rainbow for the Boston Bruins. That's also why I defend a lot of the things that they do. Because I also know quite a few reasons why they do it that way. Quinn Hughes for the Vancouver Canucks. And a Grundstrom uh, blue to 149. <laughs> no. None of these are NDAs. Like, when we go to the Summit, for example, we have these open conversations. That's what they want. They want people with knowledge, right? Makar for the Avalanche. Marky Rookie. And a Tara Vinen for the Carolina Hurricanes. It would be violating an NDA if I told you some stuff of what's going on in the future. But everything that's come out is just, it is what it is. Marky Rookie of Jack Hughes for the Devils. And a Druin for the Montreal Canadiens. Like, it's not a secret. Upper Deck does call stores quite often. And they talk to them, so. Not a secret. It's actually smart. Best in the world of Carey Price for the Habs. We've got a Rainbow Matthews for the Maple Leafs. Marky Rookie of Procorkin for the LA Kings. And for the Coyotes, Taylor Hall. But generally, you know what it is, Brooks, is anything that I kind of come up with in my head is, is what would I actually collect? Like, would I enjoy collecting it? Frederick for the Boston Bruins, Marky Rookie. Zadino Retro for the Red Wings, Zadino, Zadina. And a Checkers, number to 25 for the Jets, Patrick Line. They should have a Billy card. You know what? If they ever did a Billy card, I have, I'm have. i going to request a Billy. It has to be in the full force, uh, what was it, thermal? The thermal images. It has to be that one of him. That's my only request. Marky Rookie of Hiroshi for the Red Wings. Best in the world of McDavid for the Oilers. Marky Rookie of Kubelik for the Hawks. Marky Rookie Sunset Parallel for the Hawks of Boakfist. We, ooh, that's a nice one for last place. Emerald Surge number to 10. Mark Andre Fleury for the Golden Knights. Mark Andre Fleury, Emerald Surge, Golden Knights. Yeah. Yeah. Marky Rookie of Bjorn Falk for the Kings. Marky Rookie. And then a Rainbow Marky Rookie of Kuba League for the Hawks. Dobson Retro for the Islanders. Brooke, that would be a fun story in... Uh, my book if I ever do one. Hurdle Pink for the San Jose Sharks. <laughs> Let me just throw that one out there. That would be a fun story. That would make people go, hmm. Marky Rookie of Lafferty for the Penguins. Brent Burns for the Sharks. We got a Marky Rookie of Hag for the Jet, or sorry, for the Knights. And we got a Rookie Auto for the Ottawa Senators, Joey Decord. Ottawa Senators, Joey Decord. I bet you Brooks is very interested now. <laughs> of what I mean by that. Maybe one day. I'll tell all the stories. Maybe one day. 
We've got a Ray or Retro of uh, Rene for the Preds. And a Saros Marky rookie for the Preds. We've got for the Maple Leafs a purple base of JVR, number 25. 34 spots left in the Chancer. Sick. If you guys want to get that Chancer going, guys, more than happy to do it. Retro of Rick Nash for the Rangers. Matt Murray, Marky rookie for the Penguins. Retro of Bernier for the Maple Leafs. Mick David for the Oilers, Marky rookie. Kinda Mick David. We got a Garrett Sparks for the Maple Leafs, Marky rookie, and a Blue Cubes of Weber to seventy-five for the Nashville Predators. Um, so Aiden, here's two things when considering a PC, in my opinion. Retro of Bacchus for the St. Louis Blues. Do you care if he gets traded, and do you care if he retires early? So if you don't care if he goes to, like, Minnesota, absolutely great PC. Patan for the Jets, Marky Rookie. And a Marky Rookie White Ice of McCarron to 199 Because if, for example, it would bother you so much that Nylander gets traded from Toronto... You might want to be careful because if Nylander goes next year and gets traded, are you unhappy with that? Malcolm Subban, Marky Rookie for the Bruins. And only fitting, Rookie Auto, Kevin Fiala. Nashville Predators. So, Snow, back in the day, Dan, who's the other uh, owner of the company, um, he used to collect Dan Cluche. I'm sure you can guess who I collected. Fukali, not him, for the Habs, Marky Rookie, and a Shane Doan, Team Logos, for the Coyotes. So, hence the name. Retro of Carlson for the Sens, Rontanen for the Avalanche, Marky Rookie. We got a Rainbow of Bishop for the Tampa Bay Lightning, Della Rose for the Habs, Marky Rookie. Snowdog, I feel like you tried this one, like, several weeks ago. New material, come on. Bergeron for the Boston Bruins. Retro. And Athanasiu for the Red Wings. We've got a Rainbow Retro. Monahan for the Calgary Flames. Uh, what's it worth? I got outbid on one recently. Stevenson for the Caps. Marky rookie. I think it went for 170. We got a Patrick Kane. Tracks for the Hawks. Uh, Chara, I have a few shield autos. Um, obviously the Kutz and Chara card has got to be one of my favorites. Carlson tracks for the Caps. Jan Mark, Marky rookie for the Dallas Stars. We got a rainbow of Brock McGinn, rookie for the Canes. Don Scoy for the Sharks. It, you know what? That's what the auction went for. Yeah, it, I got a bid. Hannah Finn for the Carolina Hurricanes, Marky Rookie. Superstars of Patch Ready. Um, you know what? I just saw a lot of potential in him, Dan. And I liked what he presented when he was on the Islanders. Rainbow Need a Rider for the Wild. So I just wanted to collect someone I thought that could be a really good, impactful player. And obviously it worked a lot better for me. Tavares for the Islanders. Uh, die cut. So, that's why. Rainbow of Mark Stone for the Sens. Mike McCarron for the Habs. So it was more so kind of like I wanted someone long-term who I thought could have a good growth. Now, obviously it worked out great when he got traded to Boston and he played for Ottawa against Toronto. That was always fun to watch. But I am diehard Leaf fan. But yeah, Chara was my, uh, my fun PC. I feel like I'm going to have to move that stack. That might give some people some anxiety. If you have a, a blank back, I'll be more than happy, but it'd have to be somewhat similar to that range. Top 50 of Olafson for the Buffalo Sabres. Balsers for the Sens. Quinn Hughes for the Vancouver Canucks. And a rookie jersey of Trent Frederick for the Boston Bruins. I think that would be fitting. I would love it. Can I see him signing? No, honestly. Clutes and Matthews, yeah. We've got a rookie of Fabro for the Preds. 
And an orange slice rookie for the Vancouver Canucks, Zach McEwen to 199. If you guys want to know another fun fact, before we changed our name to Klutz and Chara, our actual eBay name was Kluche is good. Terrible. Capo Caco for the Rangers, rookie. Kuffner, top 50 for the Red Wings. Marner, white die cut for the Leafs. Rookie of McEwen for the Canucks. So, that's why we needed the change. We've got a, for the record, of Ovechkin for the Caps. We've got a rookie of Lazat for the Kings. And a top 50 rookie auto of Brady Keeper for the Panthers. You thought it was garbage at first? That's funny. That's funny. Well, that's it. If you ever want to move it, but if it's a keeper, uh, enjoy it. That's a beautiful card. Breezebois for the Vancouver Canucks rookie. Top 50 for the Blue Jackets of Texier. Arrow Carlson, white die cut for the Sharks. You got it right now. Jimmy Schultz for the Vegas Golden Knights. We've got a Bastion Pink SP for the Devils. Verana Red Die Cut for the Capitals. Cody Glass for the Vegas Golden Knights. R Rookie of Fabro for the Preds. Top 50 of Fabro for the Preds. Rookie of Hiroshi for the Wings. And an Aho number to 99 for the Carolina Hurricanes. We've got a Adrama for the Ottawa Senators. A Open Ice of Dubois for the Jackets. White die cut of Gibson for the Ducks. There you go. I hope it's not canceled. That would really suck, to be honest. <laughs> but I, I don't think it will be. But yeah, it was, it was Kluche underscore is underscore good. And in all honesty, what it was, Asmode, is... When we were looking at uh, changing it, I was obviously, I'm always a big fan of like, you know, CNC, or sorry, I was like UFC, NHL, uh, NBA, it's always three letters. And I wanted to put up like my collection and Dan's collection, obviously best friends. So when we we're coming up with this, like CNC obviously made the most sense. So. So yeah, we changed it officially to Klutz and Chara. And now we're more so known as CNC, but moments of stall for the wild. We got a Victor Rask for the Minnesota Wild. Minnesota. Milestones for the Rangers of Lungfist. But that's why I always find it funny when anyone says anything about like us owning or knowing or whatever. Patrick Kane for the Hawks is I literally pretty much know 99% of the people in the hobby. So, of course, I'm going to be friends with pretty much everyone. Hashik for the Buffalo Sabres. I did have a couple people say I own KSA back in the day, too. Golden Knight moments. So, always fun. Always fun. We've got a spectrum of Tays for the Hawks. Yeah, I could see why the owners don't want to, like, it benefits them, honestly, probably. We've got for the Vegas Golden Knights, sign of the times, Jonathan Marchesso. Marchesso. Yeah, I feel like the NHL's TV contract is nowhere near the size of the NFL and the NBA's. It makes a big difference in the long run, in my opinion. We've got an Isaac Lundstrom to $9.99 for the Anaheim Ducks. No, it has an and it has a contract. It's nowhere as lucrative. Nowhere near that. We've got for the Minnesota Wild Future Watch Auto Louis Bel Petio. Bel Petio. Yeah, but when uh, so fun story though, Brooke, that I can probably tell. I think we've got a Daniel Sprong for the Anaheim Ducks when we first came on the scene. Like, Hobby and Cider members hated us. I have no idea why, honestly. Milestones of Mike Madonna for the Dallas Stars. I think it's because, like, we were the new breed and they were kind of, like, the older breed. 
Oh man, they hated us. Calgary Flames, a Gimla red. Which is weird because it just forms, so why really care? But we've got a Perlini for the Hawks update. And an acetate. Young guns. Michael Rasmussen. I can tell you we were like the Bieber of like hockey cards when we first started. Everyone did not like us. And in all honesty, stores didn't like us because we posed a big threat to them. Uh, we were growing insanely fast, so all forms hated us. Retro rookie of Tarasenko for the Blues. So it's kind of funny, to be honest, to go through that. Ricola Young Guns for the Penguins. Milestones of Messier. Yeah, send me a text, Brooks. I'll, I'll talk to you a bit more. Carlson for the Sharks. One of these days. But yeah, so we went through it all. We had stores who hated us. They, they, they talked the most random junk in the world. It was honestly hilarious. Like, people, we had stores tell customers that we ship everything in white envelopes. It's like, what are you even... And, 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 and the problem is people believe that. And you're like, oh my God, people. Clearly we do not... Uh, <laughs> Shipping envelopes. Hollow effects of Colville Chuck for the Winnipeg Jets. So. SP Essentials, 1999 for the Red Wings of Zetterberg. But I, I think over the last like four years. Matthew Carl, future watch to 999 for the Habs. I feel like over the last four years, people have kind of realized that we're not moving anywhere. So. SP Essentials for the Jets of Colville Chuck. Future watch auto to 999 of the monster Gustafson. Gustafson 999. And also, yeah, if you're looking at uh, SBA, I have some too. Not many left, but I do have some. So yeah, we we've been through it all some Weird people. We've been through some court cases with people. We've literally done it all. I don't stand up for uh, getting bullied, to be honest. So. The biggest thing I've always said, and I still maintain it to this day. If you have any questions, I'm here to answer them. I have nowhere to go but answer them. SP Essentials for the Boston Bruins of Cam Neely. Uh, which one's that? 1333? What do you mean you can't find it? Like on the video or on our site? Well, that's a nice one. We've got a rookie review patch auto. Number to 100 for the Avalanche. Melon Hayduke. Hayduke. Rookie Review Patch Auto Colorado. Well, good thing it's a patch. Um, Jennifer, yeah, let me know. Uh, remind me after this, I'll happily look. If it's not on YouTube, I don't know where the heck it would have went, to be honest. It should be on YouTube. Hey Duke was a very underappreciated player, I feel. Especially in the hobby. The Lee side shows, yeah, that was fun. Hollow effects of Lemieux for the Penguins. I'm pretty sure we also dealt at a few other local shows too. Cambridge, I think. For the Flyers, 9 and 9 of Oscars Bartulis. Oscars Bartulis. Philadelphia. But yeah, Frank, who runs the Lee side show, he's, he's a pretty cool guy. SP Essentials of uh, Bob Yor for the Boston Bruins. Very dedicated to the hobby, and I love that. And anyone that helps promote the hobby and does it in the right way, I'll always help support that. At the hockey arena, yeah, we did a big deal. I remember that one. A pretty large deal. Well, large deal in uh, comparison to how old I was. But yeah, you guys bought it in most of our collection, if I remember correctly. So... 
Wow, KZ, thanks. <laughs> they held your funds for a month? Wow. That uh, really sucks. Sorry to hear that. Brad Marchand, red for the Boston Bruins. Well, KZ, you know what's cool? There's a store called Coots and Char that doesn't hold it for a month. SP Essentials of Carlson for the Caps. And you know I'm just playing around. Yeah. Sad that they did that, though. Joaquin Blischfeld for the Sharks. I don't really understand it. Why not just give you a call? If they're honestly worried, give you a call. SP Essentials of Gibson for the Ducks. Let us know what's in the chancer. Uh, like you don't know or you want me to promote it. Jason Zucker for the Penguins. Moments of Bimmington for the Blues. We've got an Alex Dabrink at red for the Hawks. Spectrum of Dobson for the Islanders. SP Essentials of Besser for the Canucks. We've got for the Hawks, Base Limited Auto, Alex Brinkett. But I will say on the Chancer, guys, let's keep it going because that one, for the price point and how big it is, and only premium packs in the giveaways. Young Guns of Trenton for the Preds. So, I think uh, for the price point, you can get a $3,000 McDavid. We've got for the Islanders, Oliver Wallstrom. $9.99. So, while we're on a whole bunch of random uh, topics, anyone got any questions randomly for the hobby? Moment of Rass for the Boston Bruins. Or thing that maybe you wanted to know, or I could clarify potentially, or stir up. Islanders, Matthew Barzel. Let's create some controversy, folks. No, we don't want to do that. Long fist for the Rangers. Moments. Um, yes and no on that one, Rob. We've got a Latang for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Let me put it this way, and I want to be as gentle on this one as possible. Scott Sabarin, Ottawa Senators, 999. And a cleft bomb red for the Oilers. With us having uh, two distributors, Stamp goes Tampa Bay Lightning. We're a little more controlled. But with that being said, I actually have no problems with that. And I think that's better for the hobby. We get more quantity in Canada in terms of hockey. But we also deal with spikes in pricing a lot faster than they would in the U.S. So... Like, I would compare it to a weaker year. Um, what do we got left now? Hold on, let's see. What do I want to do? Uh, boom. We'll do the SP game using chronologies. I would compare it to like a weaker year of baseball or basketball or something. Like, we generally would have a lower price than most of the US guys just because uh, we can. But we don't get a lot of quantity. But it's one of those positive negatives, to be honest. Um, Dylan, at the end of the day, that's also one reason I'm not a massive big fan of Panini. Because Upper Deck hasn't done that. Panini and Tops are starting to do that. And I'm not a big fan of it. But at the end of the day, if they have buyers at that price, it's obviously fair, right? We've got a 169 Kyle off Postal. But I will also say this, Rob, is our distributors in Canada, especially like Universal, they take care of their dealers so much better than a lot of the places in the U.S. do. 169, Granlin for the Minnesota Wild. Like, I feel like we have a lot of support from our distributors. Well, sorry, Universal. We've got number to 35, Draft A, Marks Auto, Casey Middlestad. Buffalo Sabres, Casey Middlestad. 
So like Universal has had our back since day one. They've been there for many of our big events. They've helped us on big events. It's just a different system. Banner year of Barzel for the Islanders. So even if they hold some back, for example, and they want to lift up the price, I'm fine with that. It's fair. It honestly is. I have no problems with that. We got an authentic rookie jersey to 4 and a 9, Troy Terry. Troy Terry and Heim Ducks. And we've got for the Rangers, Neil Pionk to 4 and 9. The best hobby box to open under 200. Right now, I would probably put Stature as one of them. I'm a massive fan of Stature. Oh my gosh, hands. Pick up the knife. But that that is the big thing. Like once Rob, like we get a we get a decent amount of quantity, but once it dries up, it, it's tough to get because it just goes so quickly in Canada, to be honest. But as I said, we get treated exceptionally well from our distributor. Um, I only deal with Universal. I will never leave dealing with Universal. For the Montreal Canadiens, Gallagher. Gallagher. For Durandum between Vancouver, Ottawa, St. Louis, Tarasenko, Ryan Verbata. Triple jersey. We've got, and again, this will go to the expired redemption raffle. Whoever has the Coyotes. A rookie auto, Max Domi. Rookie autograph, Max Domi. We've got for the San Jose Sharks, base autograph, Brent Burns. 31 spots in the Chancer. I feel like we can get that one done. If anybody wants to grab a couple more spots, guys, let's get that one done tonight. And we've got for the Blues, Tarasenko to 125. Like, I'll give you a good idea. For example, Rob, I don't know if you, you might have even been part of it. Honestly, I don't remember how long, um, what breaks have been in the, in the history. But I'm just going to have a bit quick drink, guys, because throat's kind of killing. I remember we had a, a break with 6-7 uh, Cup. We just brought it in, 6-7 cup. Our distributor brought it in for us from the U.S. We opened it up, and it had five base cards and a basic jersey. <laughs> so it was obviously a tampered box or case. We've got for the Islanders, 222 Billy Smith. So our distributor, if anyone remembers that or was part of it, basically comped everybody in that break. We've got a Kevin McClelland for the Oilers autograph. This is the old chronology, by the way, people. Kevin McClelland. And we've got a Time Capsules Jacques Plante for the Habs. So it's things like that when you have backing, like we did with our distributor. It, it makes a massive difference to consumers and retail stores. So I will tell you pretty much every big store and very, very respected store in Canada deals with Universal, and there's a reason for that. All right, let me do some ultimate now. Woot. And that's it. There's a big reason for those kind of things, but yeah, that's a good question. Good question. Probably shouldn't do that knife that next time. Uh, I almost sliced my hand off. For the Avalanche, Nathan McKinnon. Avalanche, Nathan McKinnon. For the Panthers, retro rookie auto to $2.99, Owen Tippett. $2.99, Owen Tippett. We've got for the Maple Leafs, 97 Legends Autograph, Borier Salming. Borier Salming. We've got for the Vegas Golden Knights, 99 Debut Threads, Alex Tuck. Alex Tuck. 
And we got for the Maple Leafs, 3 9 Callie Rosen. They're in Quebec, yes. Right, give me one second, folks. Just going to do something quickly. Yeah, I don't think you guys just realized how uh, how good and important it has it is to have a honestly a good distributor. Like it is one of the most crucial things I can tell you in our industry to have a very important distributor. Instead, I'm always very open for any of you guys who's ever met Universal at the. Uh, at the shows or whatever, like you know exactly my loyalty to them, but they are by and far absolutely incredible to deal with. So I under, like it's funny when people say, "Oh, when distributors lift up pricing." At the end of the day, they're a business. They're not a charity. They're a business. If a product's hot, you know, of course everybody wants it at the cheapest possible price, but it is what it is. Drake Batherson for the Ottawa Senators. Drake Batherson. We've got for the Sharks to 99, Sumella, debut threads, Sumella, San Jose. For the Oilers, ultimate rookies at 399, Bouchard. But I will tell you, Rob, it's near impossible to get Panini basketball, baseball, or sorry, Panini basketball and uh, football stuff in Canada. And that's a nice one. Number two of six. Red rookie, Warren Fogel. Two of six, Warren Fogel. All right. But yeah, it is, uh, it's crazy. We've seen everything. We've seen some fun product issues. We've seen some cases that were random. Like, so stuff you always got to be ready for in the hobby. You honestly got to be ready for it. I am not surprised by anything. Islanders 149, Andersley. Andersley. We've got a rookie ascents to 99 of Taro Harosi. Uh, it's not that they can't get into Canada. I don't think they want to go into Canada in terms of I think they're bitter that they lost their hockey license. That's a big one. Number to 49. Debut Threads Patch Auto. Kale McCarr. Debut Threads McCarr. Like, they've pretty much sliced how much product comes into Canada. And then what they do is they basically email the distributors and say, but you can get it at this price if you guys want it. So I will happily tell you guys, because most big stores will tell you the same thing. We get one box of anything new football and uh, basketball. One box. If I want to buy at the new high prices, I can. But it's absorbently higher. And we've got for the Boston Bruins, Trent Frederick. So that's why I do say sometimes when we do items like we try to cost average sometimes it's a, so we can do several of them, but it's not fun. I can tell you guys this, honestly, it is not fun. Uh, we do not get the quantities I would like. Sadly, I would love to get a lot more, but it is what it is. We've got for the Montreal Canadiens 199, P.K. Subban. And that's the other thing, Tyler. Why, like, think about it. Their market's in the U.S. anyways. We've got a 99 rookie jersey auto, Kevin Fiala. Kevin Fiala. We've got for the Winnipeg Jets to 275 retro, or not retro, just a regular autograph, Nick Batan. So my sister just texted me. I don't know if anyone wants to let me know if this is true, by the way. I'll go back to the other questions. Is Floyd Mayweather really fighting Logan Paul? Is that honestly a truthful thing actually happening? 
For the Blues, we've got an Ultimate Rookies Jersey Auto to 149 of Pareko. Like, is that legitimately... Are you kidding me? That is a joke of a fight. For the Ottawa Senators, Shane Prince. Wow. That is an absolute joke. How does a guy with, what, two pro fights? Honestly, oh my god, that is so stupid. That is the dumbest thing. My god. All right, let's just bring out some of the big stuff now, folks. Oh, just for entertainment? Okay, so it's not like a real, real fight. That is absolutely embarrassing. I was going to say, probably, yeah, one of the top five. I don't even say top three, but yeah, you're not far off, right? That is embarrassing, honestly. Tyson Georgia Rock, that's funny. That would be fun. We got for the Avalanche to 399, Peter Forsberg. So, sorry, what was the other comments people said here? Can I try to get soccer breaks? Uh, actually, I do have some soccer breaks or uh, boxes, uh, David, that I would love to know how I could properly do it. We've got an Arters Urbe autograph for the Carolina Hurricanes. With COVID playing a factor in a spike in the hobby, what are the external factors that can cause a dip? Financials. If people run out of money, this industry doesn't survive that well. We've got number to 150, Theodore, Jersey. Uh, Aiden, in terms of getting stuff graded, I would highly recommend it. Any any good young gun always get graded. Three ninety nine Doovy. Is that his name Doovy? Doovy Westcott. That's kind of cool. Uh, they're not on the site. No. Um, we literally just got them in recently. I think it's actually they might be on the site if Dan got them out quickly. It's Select Hybrid and something else. Select maybe Select and Select Hybrid. Does that make sense? For the Panthers, that's a sick patch. Number to 299, Henrik Borgstrom. Um, in all honesty, at this point, there's pretty much most young guns that would actually get graded. The, the trend in the hobby right now is going towards grading. And if you can get a pristine copy or like a 9, 5, or a 10 of most young guns, people are going to pay a good premium. We've got a 249 Keller for the Coyotes. For the wild team logo jumbos, Jordan Greenway. Jordan Greenway. We've got a double diamond rookie <clears throat> to 99 for the Ducks, Troy Terry. Not gonna lie, my voice is slowly, slowly fading here. Troy Terry to 99. For the Florida Panthers, 149 Aaron Ekblad. It's going to say a lot of the bottom teams have had a lot of hits so far. And we've got for the Anaheim Ducks, Hall of Fame rings, Timu Solane. Timu Solane. All right. We've got for the Coyotes 249, Barrett Hayton. Exquisite Barrett Hayton. We've got for the Blue Jackets, 249, Seth Jones. Uh, I don't think any crazy big Toronto pulls yet. 
Numbered. Oh, that's a big headliner. Case hit. Number to 25. Black base autograph. Sydney Crosby. Sydney Crosby to 25. Autograph for the Penguins. Bam, baby. That is going to be Hall of Fame worthy. We've got for the Vancouver Canucks, Patterson. Someone's asking for Pittsburgh. Patterson. We've got for the Vancouver Canucks, Diamond Mine Relics, Henrik Sedin. Why is that? We're just getting into the big stuff, so uh, we're, we're about to get there. And we got an Anaheim Ducks, Max Jones, 3 to 9. Great, great, great. Well, the giveaways are a massive kicker in this year, uh, this time that we did it. And I'm glad you guys responded to this. I can already tell you, if you guys want some fun little hype, I am going to be searching for a 3 tin case of 15 16 cup for 14,000. I feel like that's my next possible route. We've got 199 rookie patch for the Maple Leafs, William Nylander. Uh, well, Jen, I'm still breaking, so I'm definitely going to try to do it right after this. For the Maple Leafs, 199. I can't look into it yet. <laughs> I have to wait till after the break. I apologize. We've got for the Panthers, Jonathan Huberto. Signature placards. For the San Jose Sharks, a 149, Joe Pavelski. Joe Pavelski. For the Maple Leafs, number 99, Double Diamond, Brandon Leipzig. Can anyone else confirm that break's not on YouTube? 1333. Brendan Leipzig. We've got for the Penguins championship rings of Chris Kunitz. It's not? Okay. Well, if it's not on YouTube, then Dan's probably going to have to cut it from the original video. That's pretty much how it's going to happen. Klingberg to 99, black base. So whatever day it went, if you check the big, uh, well, the big video, whatever you want to call it. When was that break? For the Vancouver, that's cool, Vancouver Canucks, number to 15, exquisite stick, Henrik Sedin. Does anyone remember when 1333 happened? Was that like yesterday? Was that two days ago? It would be in the main video for anyone trying to find it. Out of 15, that's a sick card right there. If you ever can't find the single video, it'll be in the whole stream video. Bergeron, 199. 199. We've got for the Hawks, championship banners of Michael Roosevelt. Three days ago, okay. Big Golden, do you mind just posting that link just in case? So some people can just go through that quickly. Man, we are hitting diamonds galore for the Anaheim Ducks. Double diamond number to 99, Nick Ritchie. Double diamond Anaheim, Nick Ritchie. We've got for the Vancouver Canucks, 85. <laughs> number 34 of 85, Henrik Sedin. 
34. And we've got for the Flyers. Oh, did I hit it? I did. Numbered 16 of 84 retired numbers, Bobby Clark. I love these cards, and I love getting the jersey number of the card. That's pretty sick. Bobby Clark jersey numbered retired numbers. And I think the jersey numbers are even more important on those kind of cards as it's a highlight of the card. Gotta love it. All right. All right, we got some. You know what? I will do the primes and the. Uh, you know what? No. I will do stature, splendor, buybacks, then I'll do the Dominion primes. And I got one more premiere I got over there. Mojo Man. I'm hoping so. Said, I want this break to be huge. I know not everyone's going to win, but as long as I can get some big, big stuff, I'm happy. We've got for the Devils, Marty Broder. Marty Broder. For the Calgary Flames, Johnny Goudreau. And if anyone remembers on the Ultimate, was it later in the night? Because maybe if we can find it, we can just guide people to that one quickly. For the Boston Bruins, 3-9 of Stud Nika. Stud Nika. We've got for the Flyers, 149, Connor Bunneman. Bunneman. Green. For the Blues to 85, Tarasenko Portraits. <laughs> great, great, great. We, ooh, that's a nice one. Number to 65, Green Autograph, Glenn Hall for the Hawks. Number to 65, Green Auto, Glenn Hall. Beautiful. We've got a Momentus of Broder for the Devils. Sick. B E A beautiful. Not a bad player. We've got a True North Signatures, number to 36 for the Penguins, Mario Lemieux. Uh, Aiden, oh, you can send it in. You can uh, use us as a drop-off center or any other dealer or uh, send directly to them if you want to. Mario Lemieux, True North Signatures. Damn. Starting to get the big stuff going now. Bye-bye, X. Always get the end of that. Oh, I was going to say, where's the base card? 199, Taylor Hall for the Devils. Taylor Hall. We've got for the Blues, number 27 of 27, Showcase Red Glow Fight Strap Auto. Jordan Bennington. Guess it's the buyback version of it. Um, PSA, like again, they're great, very reputable. Um, they grade lighter in my opinion, and they take longer, and they're significantly more expensive. So big three factors. Twenty-seven. We, uh, we go through MNT. Said, by far the biggest in Canada. 
generally right now in my opinion considered in the big three back at PSA MNT all right we got a premier box I, oh I forgot a clear cut so I'll do the clear cut <laughs> I got all the boxes scattered guys I apologize uh, well PSA didn't sell for 700 million PSA's parent company sold for 700 million We've got for the Anaheim Ducks, Isaac Lundstrom. Isaac Lundstrom. But yeah, that's still a hefty amount. But yeah, the parent company, I think it's called uh, like Collector's Choi uh, Paradise or something. Um, You know what, Perfect? I... It's a debate we've had many, many times. I somewhat disagree with that. I've seen many cards of Beckett or PSA or MNT all go higher or lower. I feel like it's a date and time type of thing, right? And I can tell you that in all honesty, because I, obviously I collect Matthew, so I see a lot of uh, cards and some, like they're all over the map. We've got a call in Miller. I'll tell you, Matthew's young guns are crazy all over the map. Crazy all over the map. For the Vancouver Canucks, 399, Jared McCann. Jared McCann. For the Blues, 399, Tarasenko. But yeah, so that's who we, uh, we're a drop-off center for MNT. We, we've dealt with the other companies before. It caused too many headaches for me. It uh, It's not fun. We've got an acetate rookie patch auto for the Jets. Expired Redemption Raffle. Nick Patan. Said, I, I do like their grading. I think they're absolutely awesome. Uh, uh, PSA, in my opinion, yeah. I, I don't... I think they grade too softly, personally. That's a nice card. Uh, this is really... Rookie year, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Numbered 18 of 22. Mega Patch Chest Logos. Jack Eichel. But again, everyone has preferences. There's no right or wrongs, guys. It's when you factor in, I know everyone says sometimes, for example, the M&T's values sell a bit lower. But if you end up paying $40 more for the card, you're still losing more by going the other way. Jack Eichel, is it game used? You ever seen a trading card with a Jack Eichel game used hockey memorabilia? So yes. We've got a Jake Allen signatures. What are the odds? Because I would say 95% of the time, probably they're going to do that. <laughs> For the Coyotes, OEL199. In my honest opinion, Beckett and MNT are the hardest graders. Then it goes PSA. Then it goes a bunch of the other guys. PSA, I feel like, hands out the most easiest 10s out of the, out of the big boys. All right, Dominion, Prime, Prime. And that's the thing, Dylan. Everyone always talks about the one card that, like, you know, an M&T card sold for lower. There's millions of examples that even I could show you from cards that we've sold for customers that we sold for higher than what Beckett or PSA went for. The market fluctuates. I guarantee you, if you guys ever want to look at something funny, type in Matthews. Type in Matthews uh, Young 9. Tell me the range that you guys get. I believe they're from 170 to 300. It, it's literally all over the map. We've got number 249 for the Penguins, Sidney Crosby. Well, Snow Dog, I don't know if you're referring to MNT. Potentially it's cheaper, but if you don't know who they are, so how do you know how cheap they are per se? Number to 50, we've got a quad dual jersey, dual prime jersey auto, Carl Haglin. 
Carl Hagelin. Dual jersey prime out of 15. We've got for the Calgary Flames, Roman Horak. I think that's number two, 199. 199. And again, I know we've had this conversation many times. We don't need to have it many more times. But the amount of people that don't factor in the overall cost. If your Matthew sells for 20 bucks cheaper, but you spent 45 or $50 more, how are you making more? You're losing more. For the Winnipeg Jets, number to 50, Shifley Wheeler Duel. Uh, well, Snow Dog, I, just because they're cheaper doesn't mean it's better. That logic doesn't really make much sense. Right now, I think Beckett right now is $55 or $65 a card. I think that's absolutely ridiculous. I don't think that just means that they're warranted to be the best price. For the Flyers, prime namesake, Zach Ronaldo. Zach Ronaldo. I think there's a difference between pricing your products fairly and gouging. That's the difference. We've got a quad number to 75, Thornton, Bull, Prust, and Martin. Boston, Columbus, Rangers, and Islanders. Uh, I believe so. I would maybe send us an email that we can forward to them or send them an email directly. I don't know if they crack them out or if you crack them out. We've got for the Minnesota Wild, 249 Backstrom. That's the other thing, Golden. I will tell you, again, just from my personal opinions. I know a lot of you guys, again, you guys don't run a store, so this is what we dealt with. The amount of times when we dealt with Beckett, that customers got mad at us because their card that they sent in for like a 30-day grading took five months. They wanted refunds from us. I got very tired of dealing with people who were very upset that their cards took significantly longer than they paid for. And to me, you're not getting better service. If anyone honestly tells me, and I'm being candid here, that PSA or Beckett has better service than KSA, that is complete junk. Uh, there definitely are Tariff Snow Dog. We had a guy who got a PSA card literally a month ago and paid $170 to pick it up. There is tariffs. I don't know if it's always the case, but it is. Ottawa Senators, two ninety nine dollars of Craig Anderson. So, unless that customer lied to me for absolutely no reason. We've got for the Flyers, the one ninety nine dollars Michael Raffle. Michael Raffle. We've got for the San Jose Sharks, NHL Inc., Matt Tennyson. Uh, according to what he said is that he had to pay that because they valued the item at $1,000. So, take that for what it's worth. Yeah, and I do believe they do say that, Snow Dog. For the Ka Anaheim Ducks to 100, Hompus Lindholm. It's called a drawback. Nice. Numbered five of eight. Genuine letters for the Ducks. Andrew Cogliano. Andrew Cogliano. For the Maple Leafs, numbered to 200. Prime duels of Riley and... Who are you? Jamie Devaney. But as I said, Snow Dog, you kind of ignore it. If a card sells for 20 bucks less on eBay, but you paid 50 bucks more, which which brand technically is better? Number to 25, Prime Autograph Signatures, or Prime Signatures, Ryan Nugent Hopkins for the Oilers. And also, one is on time, the other is six months late. Which is a better service? And we got a 299 Mark Andre Fleury, Pittsburgh Penguins. Oh, Dominion. This bad boy's been sitting here for almost 10 years, folks. 10 years 
We were opening it. That's kind of gross, actually. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I love the wooden boxes. I'm not going to lie. One of my favorite things. Yeah, nines, for example, Ryan, almost are kind of like a break-even-ish. I feel like nines... You might get a bit of a premium on a premium player, but a 9 on most, I feel like, is a break-even. Like, on the card actually selling raw versus not. We've got a base number to 199, Brian Gianta. Brian Gianta. The crack of the hinges, I love it, eh? For the Maple Leafs, Keith Ollie to 199. Keith Ollie. 199. We've got a stick side signatures. I love these cards. For the Panthers of Vokun. I love these cards. That design is absolutely crisp. Uh, Dom generally on the top when the card says 9 versus 10. That's a good sign. <laughs> I just kid. Uh, in all honesty, just look at the edges yourself. This is number to 50, by the way. We've got an autograph number to 50 for the Rangers of Lungfist. That's a good auto, Lungfist. But generally, I said, I, I'm not a grader. I'm guessing corners, edges. Do you see any white spots on it? I'm guessing that would be the biggest kind of factors. We've got a random got your number, which is number to 99 between Pittsburgh and Chicago of Trottier and Taze. Trottier and Taze. We've got for the Islanders a nameplate number to 25, John Tavares. Name plate number to 25, John Tavares. For the Calgary Flames, Game Worn Gear Decade of Aginla. Man, these boxes actually were pretty loaded, eh? These Dominion, uh, with, I forgot how loaded these were. We've got a blue autograph numbered 1 of 10. Glenn Hall for the Blues. Glenn Hall for the Blues. We've got a one of one printing plate for the Buffalo Sabres, Thomas Vanek. That's the thing, Big John, it's funny because I understand certain things, but yeah, I don't want to have to go through the trouble of filing a, for a drawback with CRA and waiting months to get my money. I, I would still do it, but the inconvenience factor has got to be worth something. Number to 25 prime jersey for the Flyers of Pronger. Uh, Aiden, again, in my opinion, I think 99% of those are scams. And number to 99, Bobby Hull. Silver for the Hawks. I'll tell you a funny story a long time ago. I'm not saying this attributes to all of them. So please do not think I'm saying this attributes to all of them. So I had somebody who didn't believe in those. And he bought... There's Somebody did a hundred of them, okay? I, I can't remember what it's for. It was like two McDavid Young Guns were the big grand prizes. The guy listed it, okay? So he listed it. And he did this for a while. So this is like... Not a brand new seller. This was a seller who's done these a long time. The guy bought all 100. He then got an email stating that he could not buy more than 10 at a time. Now, I don't think it takes a genius to realize why would you do why would you do that? Like why would you limit it? By the way, guys, should I do the premier cases chronology case? Premier, uh, the other premier case, or should I do the cups? What do you guys want me to do first? Should I do the chronology and premier for those in the break, or should I start right into the cups?
cup, cup, cup last, cup. Wow, a lot of you guys want me to do cups. Cup last, okay. I don't know which one this is. I think it's a 1718 premiere, so I'll do that one next. But I'll do chronology, or sorry, I'll do chronology next, then I'll do uh, premiere. But yeah, we'll do we'll do the chronologies and the the premieres, and then we'll do the premiere case, and we'll go into the cups. Cups are the uh, cups are the big boys. All right, let's get some fun stuff in the chronology case now. All right, we've got for the Penguins, a 222 Crystal Tang. Chris. Chrono Premier Cup, perfect. That's what I'll do. For the Flyers, we've got a Timeless Memories autograph, John LeClaire. John LeClaire. We've got for the Buffalo Sabres, Sam Reinhardt. Autograph. And we've got a letterman of Kucherov, number 35. Tampa Bay Lightning, Kucherov. Be golden, I feel like you scared off Snow Dog. He went away on us. Way to go, buddy. Way to go. So mean you are. You love this stuff. Yeah, it's a fun, uh, these are a fun rip for sure. We've got for the Blues, 222, Jordan Bennington. For the Tampa Bay Lightning, Andre Vasilevsky. Vasilevsky. For the Buffalo Sabres, Rob Ray. Rob Ray. And I swear this is a third one that I've opened up in less than a week. No, nope, yeah, it is. Number 36, Diamond Relic for the Maple Leafs, John Tavares. Beautiful diamond, but three of these. What are the odds of that? Three of these diamonds in less than a week. Is that what? Is that equated like. 8% of the print run I've opened in less than a week of this. But yeah, the only debate I ever have, Golden, and you know my stance on this, it blows my mind still to the day that everyone, they only talk about a sale value, not the overall cost value of what it takes to get a card graded. If your card sells for $20 less, but you spent $40 more, you're not up, you're down. For the Leafs, Freddie Anderson. This still blows my mind that a lot of people just kind of ignore that. For the Sharks, we've got a Joe Pavelski. The bottom, like some of these have been, is a bit ripped, as you can see. Timeless memories. Joe Pavelski. For the Sharks, Tomas Hurdle. Tomas Hurdle. And for the Sharks, number to 35, Mark Edward Vlasic. And like I've always said, though, if even if they're off by a few bucks or even like I won't say a decent amount, they've only been around for probably one fifth or one sixth the length of Beck and PSA. For them to be that close to them already, that to me says more than anything. Like, as I said, have fun uh, buying, like, a, like an MCA card and get that graded. Tell me how much those cards go for. They've been around for, like, 10 years. That's the biggest thing people have to realize. 222 for the Flyers, Mark Recchi. Mark Recchi. Was he number 9? Because this is number 10. I feel like I'm off by one. We've got a chronology canvas. Uh, can you look this one up just to make sure, Golden? I just want to double check. I believe this would be for the Rangers, Artemi Panarin. Canvas Masterpiece Autograph Panarin. I just don't know if they put him in Chicago, potentially. But I would like to double check before we know. 
For the Flyers, Joe Watson. Autograph. Joe Watson. And we've got for the Red Wings, Gordy Howe Capsules. Time Capsule. Gordy Howe. Yeah, this is going to be a lot of sorting. I'm going to... That, that's going to take me a lot of time. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I feel bad for uh, Eric and Ashley who help on the sorting on this. It's going to be very long for them, but whatever. It'll be a fun break to do. That is Chicago for the Masterpieces. All right. Chicago gets the Masterpieces, by the way. I want to be clear on that. We've got for the Winnipeg Jets, Blake Wheeler. No, capsules don't get open. Uh, we, we changed that by popular demand. We've got a wire photo auto for the Dallas Stars. Valerie Nechushkin. Valerie Nechushkin. For the Blues, Barrett Jackman autograph. Tavares is out of 36. The, the nines are the autograph versions, Nathan. Tavares is a 36 diamond. And speaking of 36 diamonds, Vladimir Tarasenko. Number to 36. No worries. And again, if any of you guys want any cards graded, just send us an email, guys. We'll get it taken care of for you. Obviously, purchase the grading, put in the notes, do all the fun stuff that you're supposed to do. But, uh... St. Louis, yeah. We've got for the Golden Knights, Mark andre Fleury. Mark-Andre Fleury. For the Dallas Stars. Ooh, very nice. Number three of ten, Timeless Memories Auto, Ed Belfour. Three of ten, Ed Belfour. Um, if you do the twenty four ninety nine one, it's a six day grading. It's six days when they receive it. Um, right now you're probably at about two and a half weeks with shipping and everything. But obviously with Christmas coming up and Christmas breaks and all that fun stuff, maybe a bit longer. Nabokov for the Sharks. Actually, it does remind me, I might have to message them on uh, if they do plan on doing any breaks, what's the latest they can have cards submitted in. And for the Dallas Stars, Rupe Hints. Rupe Hints. Yeah, a lot of people also get confused on any grading company. Like, a six-day grading basically means until what, the six, they have six business days when they receive it not six days till when you drop it off to like a dealer or something but i got it i'll figure out from them that's actually a good question because i presume that if they have a christmas kind of break or whatever that they uh we might have to get some cards in soon so i, I will give you guys kind of a last call beforehand it actually might be really soon anyways red wings gordy howe did it really you got a 10 Good for you. For the Capitals, Timeless Memories Patch Auto, Tom Wilson. Uh, Asmode, yeah, well, we, if you go on our website or even go on their, I, I don't know if we have it on our website, sorry. If you go on their website, they have pricing structures. As dealers, we have the same pricing. So, for example, if you submit 11 cards, it's cheaper. Uh, 25 or 26 cards cheaper, 75 cards cheaper. We've got a Ray Whitney for the Carolina Hurricanes autograph. Ray Whitney. And we've got for the Capitals, Alex Ovechkin. Uh, m and I believe, I might be wrong, is I believe they have a very nice Diamond Shimmer Black Label. It is exceptionally sexy. I've only seen it, I think, once. Uh, but it's like a diamond shimmer black label. It, in my opinion, is probably the sexiest label on the market. Because the diamond shimmer. And number one, I love uh, the black 
um, on the, the lettering either way. But, yeah, it's a Diamond Shimmer Black Label. Buffalo Sabres, Jeff Skinner. Jeff Skinner, 222. For the Carolina Hurricanes, letterman number 20, Sean Burke. Sean Burke. Ah, and they're in the room. Even better. For the Flyers, James Van Riemsdyk. James Van Riemsdyk. And for the Montreal Canadiens, Letterman, number to 35, Shea Weber. Shea Weber. Yeah, I sent uh, I sent MNT an email uh, earlier about the thirteen thousand break, so I'm guessing they knew that we were doing this bad boy. So there you go. If you guys have any questions directed to them, I'm just gonna grab. Uh, I'm and keep in mind, guys. Obviously, it's a representative of MNT. I'm presuming. So, any hardcore questions? Maybe. Uh, I don't know. Maybe they can all answer them or not. I don't know. Wait, how am I... Some of you guys will get this joke. How am I typing and breaking at the same time? So weird. We've got for the... Arizona Coyotes, 249, Derek Stefan. <laughs> it's Ashley in the back room. <laughs> Smashy, no. Number to 399, Nick Merkley. No, Dan's off Sundays. You guys should know that. And Ashley doesn't work Sundays, too. So it's Ashley from home. That's commitment, folks. We've got a 99 super rookie patch auto for the Capitals of Madison Bowie. While we actually have you in the room, uh, m and um, are you guys doing any breaks or anything? Just I was going to send you guys an email on that after. Are you guys doing any breaks I need to worry about? Or maybe let people know about submitting? We've got for the Vancouver Canucks, signature booklets, Brock... Besser. Huh. Vintage Pokemon. I can tell you, we've had quite a few come through our store. So I definitely know that's a yes. Pokemon. We've had a ton of people submit Pokemon to us. <laughs> hey, Smash. <laughs> we've got for the Carolina Hurricanes, Hayden Flurry. The sad news is some people are going to take that seriously. <laughs> it's so funny. For the was it Flyers and Devils, a 99 duel, he's sure Patrick. Oh, okay, that's good to know. And we've got for the Boston Bruins, forced back at Carlson. All right. Lack of effort on those booklets, yeah. I, I do agree. I think those were one of the weaker booklets of the bunch, to be honest. Is it really? Wow. Well, there you go. More popular. Like, in all honesty, uh, more popular than hockey. That's crazy. That is a booming thing. I've noticed Pokemon surging in our store, so I do understand it. We've got for the Habs, 249, Drew N. Drew N. For the Sands, 399, Schlappick. For the Dallas Stars, 299, Dennis. Awesome autograph, Yurianov.
For the Vegas Golden Knights, Mark Andre Fleury. Mark Andre Fleury jersey. I thought everything was back to normal. Number to 49, star autograph patch for the Kings, Jeff Carter. Jeff Carter, part of the Reebok logo. For the Flyers, number 36, Travis Sanheim. An episode of himself. And for the Habs, Victor Mete. Victor Mete. Yeah, three left. Sweet. That's always fun machines, eh? Good old machines. What year is this? This is 1718. We've got for the Golden Knights 249 Mark Andre Fleury. For the Blues, Vance Dunn. 399. For the Chicago Blackhawks, 199 rookie patch auto, Alex Dabrinkat. Wow. Crazy. Oh, good for Pokemon. I guess there's probably a lot more Pokemon cards in the market, I would presume, than hockey. Like, way more. Premier Swatches, number to 50, Martin Jones. Martin Jones, Premier Swatches. For the Flyers, Rookie Auto, Robert Hag. <laughs> For the Coyotes, number to 40, Derek Stepan. Don't worry, no, it's not over yet. Derek Stepan. And we've got for the Blues, Ville Husso. Oh, and by the way, I know I've always kind of, uh, they, they have been very kind to us, by the way. If you guys ever want to like their Facebook page, they generally update their stuff, and they do a lot of contests, which I can tell you a lot of our members have won free stuff from them. It takes two seconds to do it. Um, I don't know, I don't know if you can actually post a link. Golden, do you mind posting a link to like their uh, Facebook page? We've got for the Blues, 3 9 of Barbashev. And obviously like ours too, if you haven't liked ours, but I'm, I'm presuming most of you guys have. For the Devils, the 199, Nico Heischer. Nico Heischer. For the Wild, 299, rookie patch auto, Luke Coonan. Thank you, sir. Luke Coonan. Nice patch. We've got for the blues, and you don't see two colors in this very often, Brett Hall. <laughs> 25 spots left in the chancer. Awesome. For the wild, signature booklets, Joel Erickson Eck. Joel Eric's neck. For the Coyotes, number to 15, dual patch, Keller Fisher. Oh, you know what's another fun one, Golden? I'm pretty sure if I read it right. A couple nights ago, I was checking our Facebook. I'm pretty sure we're at 4,999 likes. I should have done a fun thing for 5,000. We've got for the Penguins, Latang. Latang.
Boateng. That was a good pack. So I think we're probably, I'm hoping we're over 5,000 now. Over 5,000. Yeah. I literally, like, as that night, and I just saw, I was like, likes, 4,999. I was like, well, that's kind of funny. We've got number to 399, Madison Bowie. Over 5,000. You didn't like us before? Kind of hurt on this, KZ. We've got a Tage Thompson, 399. But I appreciate the like. We've got for the Buffalo Sabres, 199 rookie patch auto, Alexander Nylander. Nylander, 199. For the Vegas Golden Knights, Alex Tuck. Alex Tuck. For the Blues, Vince Dunn. Vince Dunn. And we've got number 17 of 18 Mega Patch Chess Logos, Alec Martinez. Martinez for the Kings, 18. And we've got for the Carolina Hurricanes, Yanni Kokkonen. Very nice. Put these back in here. The young guns with the most upside, you gotta go with the biggest guys. Alright, we will do this one now. Give me one second, just need some water. Man, this is going crazy. So much product. All right, folks. Come on. There we go. My hands are getting tired. 20 spots left in the Chancer. Oh, yeah. Twenty spots left in the chanter. We've got for the Carolina Hurricanes, Tara Vinen. I loved how they uh sorry, I hated how they switched to the 1718 cases. Those ones are so much easier. For the Montreal Canadiens, R. Turi Lekkinen. Uh that was the other Brad who used to work here. Brad had the Louis PC. For the Coyotes. Number to 299, rookie patch auto, Jacob Chitron. Jacob Chitron. I don't know if he still collects Louis, actually, to be honest. 299. For the Buffalo Sabres, the Arv Elegant Special, Ryan O'Reilly. Ryan O'Reilly. You don't work for us? That's right, we own you. Funny. Every time I every time I try to get this card for someone who takes it in the break, I never get it in the break, but I always get it in every other break. We've got a John Gibson signature booklets for the Anaheim Ducks. I always feel so bad. Every time that guy's in the break, he's like, get me the Gibson. I never do it, but then I do like a single tin somewhere else. I always get it. For the Ottawa Senators, Shabbat jersey. And 
we've got for the Jets, Kyle Connor, rookie jersey. J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. It's all good, Aaron. So he's been our mod. Our very helpful mod for many years now. Very dedicated to the hobby. I love it. For the Panthers, Yarmer Yager. Florida Panthers. For the... That would be the Oilers, I think. Paul Coffey. Is that Oilers, I think, Coffey? Also, yeah, guys, I will tell you, just having a business, that is very important. If any of you guys have used their service, take two minutes and just leave them a Google review or a Facebook review, whatever you want to call it. It does help out a lot of other people. And also leave one for us if you like us too. We've got number 299, TBD Rookie. So that'll be random between all the applicable teams. So if you guys do not mind doing that, that would be much appreciated. I'm sure they would massively appreciate that. TBD Rookie. We've got a 99 signature champions of Matt Murray. Matt Murray. For the Coyotes, premier rookie of Dylan Strome. Rookie jersey, Dylan Strome. And that's a sick card. Numbered 7 of 15 Premier duos for the Winnipeg Jets of Connor and Line. Kyle Connor, of course. Kyle Connor, Line, dual member. Or, so it's not jerseys. Whatever that is. I think it's skates, maybe. Kyle Connor. And for the Coyotes, Dvorak. And if you have left a review for us, guys, and obviously for them, let me know. Maybe I'll do uh, just a thank you something, something. I don't know what yet. So just state it in the room so I know the names. Um, I don't know if Golden, if you don't mind just writing down the name. Just because I'm, obviously I can't write them now. If you guys don't mind doing that, you do it. I'll figure something out for you. Maybe I'll work a deal with M&T. M&T, can we do like some free gradings then? Is that kind of cool? 3-9, Rasmus Ristolainen. On the spot, just murdered him. <laughs> For the Oilers, Wayne Gretzky. I put him back in uh, against the corner of a wall. He's got to say yes. For the Montreal Canadiens, three-color super rookie patch auto for the Habs. I already said the team... Mikhail Sergachev. Sergachev. That's a good one. Three color. For the new Jersey Devils signatures, Corey Schneider. Dom, thank you. I'm presuming you're talking about for us. I do appreciate that. Again, I'll kind of uh I'll kind of keep track of it and I'll figure something out. For the Winnipeg Jets, Patrick Line. But if you guys also don't like for us, please, I, I like in-depth reviews. It does help out a lot of customers. I don't think you realize that. Pavel Zaka for the Devils. It actually shocks me still how many people come to our store. I'm like, oh, I saw your reviews. They're very good. And it, it's good. I love it. It just still surprises me that this many people... I guess that's a smart thing to do, to be honest. <laughs> You would have said yes, but then you have to definitely say yes. All right. So there you go. M&T said they're going to do 5,000 free graded cards tonight, guys. That's right. You heard them. I have it on document. Whatever they say, however many we can do as giveaways, we'll do that. 399, Matt Duchesne. Oh, and by the way, apparently we have two Google... Uh, Names, we have Klutenchara Incorporated and Klutenchara. I have no idea why we have two of them. So, I guess leave it for one of them. 399 Carey Price. 
I think one had like 45 reviews and the other one has like 96. I legit don't know how we have two. For the Red Wings, 299 Bertuzzi. It's kind of funny to be honest. We've got for the Calgary Flames, 299 Oliver Shellington. Oliver Shellington, 299. For the Calgary Flames, the 99 Signature Award winners, Mark Giordano. I'm the president, yes. Of everything. But literally, I found that out, I think, two days ago. I think Dan told me that. We have we have Klutenchar Incorporated and Klutenchar Sports Cards. We literally do have two... I don't know even how it's possible on Google. For the Rangers, the 99, Derek Stepan. Derek Stepan. President for life. And for the Maple Leafs, Soshnikov. Jersey. That's cool. 007. I think Dan's tried to do that. I can't remember what ended up happening, but I know Dan's tried to get one eliminated, but it didn't work out well. Or just didn't happen. I don't know. Maybe we didn't try. We've got LA Kings on Jay Kopitar. But I think they still hover both over our building. It's just, it's, I don't know. It's weird. For the Islanders, 299, Matthew Barzel. Matthew Barzel. For the Dallas Stars, 299, Essa Lindell. But I'll, I'll definitely try to get that. Either way, it didn't hurt us because both of them have great reviews, so. For the Penguins, prime, premier signatures of Carl Hagelin. I was say prime signatures. Carl Hagelin. For the Montreal Canadiens, the 25 premier rookie patch, Arturi Lekkonen. Arturi Lekkonen. And we got a Coyotes, Lawson Krause, Joe Easy. I'm going to go quickly fill my water bottle, guys, because I do have a cup, which I'm presuming and hoping I will uh, be yelling quite a bit more. Thank you, Ryan. I appreciate it. Again, the more in-depth for us, obviously for them too, but more in-depth for us, I always appreciate. Uh, I'll be right back, guys, and then we'll go into the cup. Oh, my legs! My legs!
All right. Oh, I a breaking knife now. Who is Bowen Byram? And how do I meet him? Is there some back end joke that I don't know about on that one? All right, so give me a second, folks. I gotta do oldest. What is that, 17, 18? 14, 15, 13, 14, 12, 13, oh yeah, baby, 11, 12, boom, loving it, holy moly, folks, is it, Bi I thought, it was, I have no idea what you're asking, but I thought it was Bowen Byram. Oh, thank you, Asmode. I appreciate that. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. This one feels light. Oh, my gosh. This is like candy store stuff right now. I love it. So I, I think I broke my other knife, guys. So I got to use this very handy knife. So it was good now as a knife. So best of luck, folks, and keep in mind, not only that we have nine more of these, we have two more cases to go. So we haven't even started. A typo in there. Oh, that's funny. Whose website? Uh, no. I was saying, butter knife, essentially a butter knife, yeah. Oh, in the database. Well, it's good that you let him know. Maybe it's a different guy we don't know about yet. Maybe he's up and coming. 249 Chicago Blackhawks. Patrick Kane. Patrick Kane. Are you guys ready? 249 that's a sexy swatch for the islanders josh bailey josh bailey for the islanders beautiful swatch on that that's the r in bailey by the way 75 signature patches Vincent LaCavalier 8-9 by the way I'm trying to get this to focus come on camera 68-75 Vinny LaCavalier healthy start enshrinement autograph number to 50, Mario Lemieux. There you go, eight feet. You're picking up on it. Mario Lemieux. Pittsburgh coming on strong now. That is a trippy printing plate. We've got a one of one printing plate for the Boston Bruins. That's actually a really good name, too. Blake Wheeler. The trippy printing plate. And I do apologize, guys. I will be taking more water breaks because the good old voice is going right now. Blake Wheeler. And we've got number to 199. <laughs> I've never heard of this guy. That's awesome. I love his name, though. Oscar Osala. 199 for the Capitals. Oscar Osala.
But yeah, hopefully, uh, I said, let B Golden know if you guys uh, left reviews because he's going to kind of pay attention to that. And then uh, I'll probably, like, in the next couple days, guys, we'll do something. I'll figure out. I'll send an actual email and ask how many I can do, but... Asmode, have a good one, sir. Appreciate everything you always do on here. Always great conversations. I think the 8-9 cup tin, honestly, is the nicest outside tin. It might be the nicest outside tin of the bunch. played three more games than you. 249 Mike Richards for the Flyers. That's funny. 249. For the Buffalo Sabres. 249 Ricky Patch Auto, Chris Butler. Oh, thank you. That's awesome. Yeah, so guys, let B Golden know if you've done the reviews. He will take care of that. That's much appreciated. I really do. Thank you on that. Woo! Aw. Oh, sorry. I got hype. I'm not going to lie. Early hype. I apologize. We, you guys will see why. My brain kind of went one way very quickly, and obviously I was very wrong. We've got number 22 of 29 honorable numbers. Dual patch auto to 29. Ryan Stoa. Colorado Avalanche, Ryan Stoa. I have not opened 9-10 in a while and realized that clearly McKinnon wasn't even playing at that point. I just saw Colorado in 29 and I was like, hell yeah. <laughs> we, well, this is a hell yeah. Uh, this might be rookie year. This might be rookie year. Number nine of ten. Cup Foundations Quad Jersey Auto. John Tavares. That was rookie year Tavares, isn't it? Tavares, 9 of 10. I would be curious to see if that was a case hit. I would be curious to see if that was a case hit. That's a pretty big one. For the Maple Leafs, number to 199, Phil Oreskovich. Fyodor Reskovich. And that's not a bad card to get. These actually do surprisingly so well. Wayne Gretzky to 249. 249. I was going to say, was that last... Uh, I'm slightly not the best with colors. I, I know it's, it's all... It's not... There's no black. It just looks darker, but it's not... It's hard to explain, but it's not actually darker. But, yeah. All right. 10-11. Here we go. Oh. The magic of cards. Oi, oi, oi. Uh, we've had a Crosby Auto out of 25. We've had a... I can't remember what else we had. A couple of Mew autographs, a Lafreniere Young Gun. Uh, we've had the Chavaris now. So... I don't know which one would be the biggest out of the bunch. I don't know that Tavares... 
A Tavares could be like a rookie or Tavares is pretty damn big. All right, 10 11, let's go. We've got a 249 Shea Weber for the Nashville Predators. Shea Weber. 249 Rookie Patch Auto for the LA Kings. Kyle Clifford. <laughs> Review left on second CZ page. Thank you. That's funny. Too funny. Thank you very much, though. Oh, my gosh. Number to 91. Honorable Numbers Dual Patch Auto. John Tavares. 91, John Tavares. And again, I know you guys are leaving reviews and I appreciate it. The longer review you can leave for us especially really means a lot. Just giving us five star means something, but actually writing things helps a lot of other people to understand what we do and how we are. That is a sick card. Wow, this box is awesome. Numbered five of ten, triple patch, which will be randomed between Colorado, Detroit, Pittsburgh, Sackick, Iserman, Lemieux. Triple patch, Sackick, Iserman, Lemieux. Damn. We've got for the Senators, 199, Derek Smith. Derek Smith. So, Golden, how many people right now do we have on the review uh, name? And a 249, Bobby Clark. For the Philadelphia Flyers. I'll, I'll need to know roughly the numbers. I guess at the end of the night. Not a big rush. Get my butter knife out here. <laughs> oh, eight feet. That's why I love you so much. Can totally do this. Are we talking about the Chancer? Oh, 13 left in the Chancer. Sweet. I will also happily, guys, because I think I'll be done around probably 11. I'll happily do the Series 1 or whatever breaks to get filled. Oh, boy. Correct me if I'm wrong. Does that not mean a shield? Am I wrong or am I wrong? Or am I right? Two forty nine for the Buffalo Sabres, Dominic Hoshik. Two forty nine, Dominic Hoshik. We've got an upside down two forty nine, Justin Falk. Beautiful patch on that, Carolina. Two forty nine. We've got for the San Jose Sharks, Harry Sateri. Harry Sateri, 101 printing plate. We've got an expired number to 199. I'm going to say Islanders, but I'm not 100% sure if someone can confirm this. Uh, David Alstrom, 199. Is that uh, correct? David Alstrom. All right. Let me try to do this. Bum. Dual, I don't know which way I want to go. I see a shield on the bottom, so we're going to do it upside down. Actually, you know what? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I don't want to damage this card. Now we'll go this way. We'll go upside down. We'll go upside down.
I wanted to focus first. It's not doing a good job. It's kind of sucking right now. Oh, yeah. Duel. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. We've got a duel. Well, I'm not going to take it out, but I'll keep it preserved. One of one autographed shield Nashville Predators, Jonathan Blum and Craig Smith. Well, Nashville got a dual shield. It's still a dual shield. Dual autograph shield, one of one. They were to be exact. Fourth last team. Give you guys an idea. I'm going to take a picture of that one too, but that's kind of funny. Wow. One shield already. I like it. We still got some more cup, folks. Let's go. Mickey Mouse mood, apparently. They were the 28th team picked. Again, I know people might be like, oh, it's not the greatest names. It's still a dual shield. So, we got the case hit, I think, out of 9-10. What was that, 11-12? 12, 12, uh, yeah, 11-12. So now we got the case hit out of 11-12. Bonus pack. We've got for the Tampa Bay Lightning, Steven Stamkos, 3 9 Yeah, it's a freaking shield. I agree. And we've got for the Maple Leafs, UC Renus. Ultimate signatures. I like seeing, yeah, I always, I always want to see the big hits, uh, big teams hit. But it also makes me very happy when the small teams hit. Because every time we do these and people get bummed that they're in the bottom... It's nice when uh, they can do well. Let's go. Let's go on a shield run. Shield run. 249 for the Sharks. Patrick Marlowe. Patrick Marlowe. For the Minnesota Wild, number 249. Che Genoa. Shea Genoa. Oh, that's unique and awesome. All wrapped up. A limited logos. I don't know if he messed up on all of them, but that looks pretty badass. Limited logos. Patch autograph number to 10 for the Quebec. Yeah, Quebec Nordiques. Matt Sundin. Matt Sundin. He signed it on the actual patch. That's so cool. He does not sign too. Like very often. For the Buffalo Sabres, number to 50 of Gilbert Perrault. The old school helmet, eh? You gotta love it. It will go to Colorado. It says Quebec on the, uh, on the card. It's got the Quebec logo on the card. It goes to Colorado. We've got for the Boston Bruins, number to 25, Big Z. And we've got for the Philadelphia Flyers at 25, Scott Hartnell. Yeah, I was looking at the photo. I don't even know if that is a Leaf photo or not. No, it's not a Leaf photo. You can tell right under the numbering if this thing wants to focus for me, which it probably won't because it doesn't want to prove my point. Stupid camera, come on. Look at the jersey. You can see right below that. That's definitely a Quebec. 
Either way, on the photo. At first, when I saw it, too, don't get me wrong, I did thought it was a, a leaf card. So I am with you on that one. I definitely thought the same thing. But yeah, it goes to Colorado. Eh. That's cool though, you know what? It, he actually made it look decently well on the uh, signature too. It actually flows with that patch quite nicely. I thought it was Leafs on his shoulder, but I think it's, uh, what's someone call it above? I apologize. I don't know. It's definitely a weird photo. I'm sure if someone types in Sundin Quebec photo, I bet that photo pops up. His helmet definitely, I don't think he ever wore the helmet with the Leafs, to be honest. I don't remember that. The Fleur de Lis, yeah. Sorry, that's what I was thinking of. We've got a 249 for the Calgary Flames, Al McInnes. Al McInnes. Either way, the rule is, is for future. It always goes on the, uh, the logo on the card. 249 for the Habs, Nathan Beaulieu. So either way, it would go to Colorado because it was Quebec. Nathan Beaulieu. That is a nice swatch. Number to 99, signature patches for the Sabres, Grigorenko. Grigorenko, beautiful swatch on that. Nice and uh, thick too. Grigorenko. For the San Jose Sharks, we've got a brilliant rookie auto of Hurdle. Ninja Hurdle. Ninja Hurdle. We've got a 249 Danny DeKaiser. Rookie Patch Auto. And a one of one rookie printing plate for the Flyers, Scott Lawton. Scott Lawton. Well, the plate and the Hurdle were nice, but that was by far the worst cup tin. What were you, 13, 14? You let me down a lot. Thanks, 1314. Um, the only thing I will also state to you guys, not to necessarily rush you guys, whatever is filled after this break, I will do, but it has to be filled. It has to be filled, guys. I just don't want to have to linger. On the new chronology, I don't mind it. Um, I don't mind it. I think for what they did, like, I, I think they did a good job for what they could do during these times. Like, it's still a ton of autograph content. Um, I think it's going to do well long term. Set builders love that set, so I think it's going to do exceptionally well. This is a mountain of cards, eh? Holy jeez. 249 Chicago, Steve Larmer. Steve Larmer, Chicago. 249, Yuri Sikash. Sikash for the Habs. For the Rangers, scripted swatches number to 35, Rick Nash. Rick Nash. Rick Nash. What do you mean one episode? I'm very confused what you mean by that. You hate lingering too? Oh, that's sick. Notable nameplates. Numbered one of seven for the Flyers. Jeremy Roenick. One of seven. Jeremy Roenick. Is 
That is sexy. Oh, okay. For the Sharks, number 25, Joel Pavelski. Like, only do this break and just tell people only the break. And we've got a dual signature patches for the Maple Leafs of Fanuf and Bernier. Dual signature patches, number 35, Fanuf, Bernier. Is that an update card? 13, 14, which, that is an update card. Sweet. That's sick. The Ronick. All right. I am uh, running out of room here. Cup sandwich. No, no. If that's what you're talking about, I have no problems in that. The only thing is people want the breaks to go, right? And sadly, there's not much I can do. But if they're not filled... I have to, they only go when they go. The good news is, as I said, this break is only once in a while. Normally on a normal Sunday, we do a one monster, but it takes me about an hour. Right now, we're on three hours and 20 minutes. I didn't break, I should have eight feet. You know what? I'm going to break out that shirt at like the next uh, actual event we do. Maybe the expo party. What do you think? I will break anything that is filled, that is obviously not labeled Monday, by the way. But I'll break anything that's filled tonight. I'll try to stick around and get them all done. So, 249 Vancouver, Henrik Sedin. 249. Didn't I tell you, Dale, positive? Be positive, and you're positive today, so you did well. 249, Roland McEwen. But I appreciate the, uh, the input, Simon. I honestly do. How's Dan's face fuzz? It's growing. Woo! Heavy hitters tonight, baby. We've got number two of ten. Exquisite patch auto. Connor McDavid. I'm not going to lie, these cup tins have definitely delivered quite nicely. Mick David numbered to 10. That is most definitely a case hit, yes. Sick. For the Blue Jacket and Shrine, Mr. 99, Cam Atkinson. Cam Atkinson. We've got for the Flyers, Mike Vecchioni. 249. You did not get one of those. 249. And we've got for the Rangers, 249, Vinny Latiri. Wow. Wow. You know what? The only thing I feel somewhat bad for is this is leading up to a very, very nice end, I hope, for Cup because holy jeez. Have the single tins delivered. I don't know the exact number, but that's got to be at least three or four of those were the cases, were they not? The dual shield, I would presume. The Tavares is a maybe. Um, the McDavid is a definitely. So that's what, three? Maybe three of them? That's awesome. I'll take that. I'll take those odds. That was 17-18. Well, congrats on the McDavid. Said probably not the year of cup that you were aiming for, but any McDavid ink is always good. We've got a 249 Austin Matthews. Austin Matthews, Maple Leafs. 249 for the Ottawa Senators, Maxime Lajoie. Uh, I broke the other night tentatively, so it's right now getting repaired, and I'm too... Uh, Sentimental to it to throw it out because it's been with me since the beginning. For the Anaheim Ducks to 99 signature materials, Maxime Comtois. So I literally had to find, I completely forgot about that, to be honest. 
So I, uh, I just went and found a butter knife. Essentially. For the Winnipeg Jets, number to 36, gold rookie auto, Sammy Niku. Sammy Niku. I'm going to try to do this one because I don't want to look at the team right away. I just want to see. Brum, brum. Brum, brum. We've got numbered one of two. Triple tag of Kahoon, Yoki Haru, and Sekira. Triple tag number to two. One of two. Now you got to find the other one. Chicago. And we've got Evan Bouchard, 249 for the Oilers. All right, ladies and gentlemen. It is time to do the cup case. I literally, I might have to take the tins out and uh, lay them here, guys. We're kind of running out of room for an actual case to sit here. So, give me a few seconds. to get this out of the way. We've been killing it. Come on, you. All right. Where's my knife? Oh, there it is. All right, anyone want to make a call? Might have some fun. Anyone want to make a call of what the case hit? Because this one will have a guaranteed case hit. What the case it will be. 1920 cup, no idea. And honestly, I don't think we'll know until probably early next year. So line A99 is uh, what HP thinks. How about this? If anyone guesses it directly on, I will... I don't know what I will do, to be honest. Um, yeah, I probably should have thought about it before I said that. I will think of something to do a giveaway, but you have to guess it. Uh, if you're guessing a 99, how many colors? So you'd have to guess that, and then obviously it's whoever guesses it first. 249 Anaheim Ducks, Corey Perry. So, you'll refund the 1750. Ouch. 249 three color rookie patch auto Ryan Pulak for the Islanders. Marner three color. I like your enthusiasm. Don't know if it's possible. McDavid 99 three color. What the heck? That's interesting. I would love to know the background on this if anyone wants to help me with this one. Because this can kind of confuses me. Beautiful card, but it kind of confuses me. Numbered three of eight. Rookie red auto tag for the Carolina Hurricanes. Sergei Tolchinsky. As you can tell, what I'm kind of confused about. Why did he write eight times All-Star? Five free gradings? Okay, I'm down with that. I'm down with that. Anyone know why he wrote eight times All-Star? <laughs> kind of random. We've got a brilliant autograph for the Penguins. Matt Murray, Future Dream. Seriously, I want to know if he is, like, trolling or if that's legit. Because would he have been in all, like, stupid question, would he have been in the KHL for eight years? For the Blue Jackets, 249, Lucas Sedlick. And we've got a Steve Eiserman. Steve Eiserman for the Red Wings. That is so weird. Did he write that on any of the other ones? If anyone wants to research that, I would love to know. Because that is definitely odd. I would presume, Rob, what you said is probably the most likely and what others did say, where it was like a KHL thing, but he only played two years in the KHL. All right, so I don't really understand that one. 
Weird. Hold on, what's what what's what are you saying there? First story when you Google it. I'm kind of curious what's going on there. Somebody have it? Oh, Becca did it right. Okay. What was the write up then? Give us the lowdown. That's hilarious. We've got a 249, Sean Monahan. Sean Monahan. I'm hoping somebody's keeping the, the guesses going because I'm not. Uh, Super paying attention. 249 S. Uh, Lindell. I'm going to try to, but S. Uh, Lindell, 249. That's a cool card, though, either way. Definitely unique. We've got number to 35 scripted materials. Patch Auto Morgan Riley for the Leafs. Morgan Riley. For the Buffalo Sabres, the 36, Brandon Gould. <laughs> that is awesome. That is awesome. For the Penguins, Quad Foundations jersey. Sydney Crosby. That is too funny. So there's eight cards, so he wrote eight times All Star. That's so funny. And we've got a scripted materials again, number to 35, Victor Rask. Wow, that's unique at least. Carolina, Victor Rask. That is so funny. Okay, I'm not going to lie. That's one of the coolest cards I've ever opened then. That is so cool. Come on, butter knife. That is hilarious. Well, that might be the highlight of uh, 13,000 for me. I'm not going to lie. This is 1617. And then after this, Captain, I just gotta throw my garbage guys, just kind of overflowed. We've got a 249 Montreal, Shea Weber. Shea Weber. For the Blue Jackets, 249 Oliver Bjorkstrand. 2020 Bjorkstrand. That's a sick patch. Numbered 8 of 8. Gold patch auto base for the Minnesota Wild. Nino Niederreiter. Nino Niederreiter. Come on, focus. 8 of 8. Minnesota. For the San Jose Sharks, number to 36, Timo Meyer. Gold Ricciato. Timo Meyer. Numbered, okay, this is a theme number now. Two of eight, red rookie, Jared Curro. For the Red Wings, two of eight. And number to 249, Wayne Gretzky. Autograph Monument. Oh, I like your thinking. Wouldn't that be something cool? All right, oh, I need my garbage.
My hands are tired. Yeah, I definitely think number eight's coming up here. There's got to be something with the eights. And we also hit a jersey number, what, three hours ago on number eight, right, Ovi? The eight of 25 with Sidney Crosby. Crosby. Brent Burns will be a case of, the only way Brent Hurt Burns will probably be a case if it's a, a shield. Or a stick, what do they call them? That's the only way I can see Brent Burns being a case it. Will the case it be an OV? I like where you're going on that one. I think it should be. All right, 249, Craig Anderson. Craig Anderson. Auto Senators. For the Blue Jackets, number 249. Hey, 7 plus 1 is 8. Sonny Milano. It's getting freaky, folks. 7 1 equals 8. That's our new number tonight. Oh, hello. Wow. I like this. Ah, we'll wait till uh, this pack's done. We've got number to 36 gold rookie auto. Lawson Kraus, number to 36. Coyotes. Number to 249 for the Maple Leafs, Nikita Zaitsev. I will tell you, this is not the first of this that we've gotten in this break. Hint, hint. And a 249, Cramarosa. If anyone wants to get that hint. Not the first one we've seen. We've got... Oh, let me see. If I can do it in a way that you won't know. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hello. And we did it again. A one of one shield autograph. Jonathan Taze. Wow. Jonathan Taze. One of one auto. Also, number nine minus one equals eight. It continues. Wow. That's actually a very, very large card. Congrats, whoever had that one. Is that bigger than McDavid? Oh yeah, in my opinion, for sure. Like, and I'm not downplaying the McDavid, I think it's significantly bigger. Taves, number one, does not sign a ton, and he's got a very loyal fan base. So, considering it's a shield auto, I think it's quite, quite, quite bigger. Well, I don't. I, I think we've got the case hit. I would presume. So holy moly! Congrats, Chicago. What were they drafted? Third. Wow, smart pick. Very good pick. We got a two forty nine Boone Jenner. Boone Jenner. Two forty nine for the Anaheim Ducks. Brandon Montour. Yeah, I would be stunned if that's not the case hit. That is definitely one of the bigger shields you could get. We've got for the Anaheim Ducks, number 20 or 35, dual signature patches, Perry and Gibson. 
Oh, my throat is dying. Perry and Gibson. For the Blue Jackets, Wierenski to 99. Enshrinements Auto, Zach Wierenski. We've got for the Rangers, Jimmy VC Gold Rookie Auto. Jimmy VC, number eight. And we've got 249 Dave Anderchuk for the Tampa Bay Lightning. All right, last but hopefully not least, but this has been a solid case. Oh, don't be a bugger. There you go. Oh, I think you'll get more than that, Derek, in my opinion. In my honest opinion, I, I, I think it's closer to 15 to 2. He's got a massively loyal fan base. Again, that would be my uh, my honest opinion, but either way, the higher the better, right? Two forty nine, Ryan Suter. Yeah, you know what? I'm. It's one of those things. It focuses on some cards, but not all of them. Oh, that's a cool patch. Two forty nine for the Penguins, Dominic Simone. I don't need a stand, to be honest. Just some cards it focuses on beautifully, and some cards it just does not. Two forty nine. <laughs> That's funny. One off, numbered seven of twenty six, exquisite rookie patch auto for the Rangers, Jimmy VC. Not a bad card to get now. Jimmy VC number to 26. Exquisite rookie patch auto. <laughs> Leafs legend. For the Nashville Predators, brilliance autograph, Roman Yossi. That would have been a very big hit, you're right. For the Carolina Hurricanes, Trevor Carrick. Autograph, rookie patch auto. And we've got Chicago Blackhawks, Patty Kane. All right, ladies and gentlemen. The finale case of the break. All right. Here we go, McDavid. We want to see McDavid. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you guys want to guess the case in this one, too? These are very, like, vin like rare tins to find, by the way, so we should enjoy this experience. It would not be rude. I would absolutely freaking love it if I could get a 99 McDavid. I would be all over the moon on that. And I really, really do hope that, no word of a lie, I just, what a way to finish a break, eh? What a way to finish the break. Eichel 99, that's what everyone's going for. We've got a 249 Columbus, Scott Hartner, Hartnell. Scott Hartnell. The other thing, Rob, it also could be a lighting thing on the camera where the angle is, right? 249 for the Leafs of Bebo. I've always wondered if I just lift it, like, you kind of shine it a bit more into the light, maybe? I don't know. Because, like, when I angle it this way, it seems to focus a lot easier. So, maybe, we'll see. That's a nice card. Number three of five. Cup Foundations Quad Patch Auto 
for the Calgary Flames, Johnny Goudreau. Johnny Goudreau, three of five. See, this one doesn't want, want to focus on. They focus on the last one perfectly. Apparently hates this one. Come on. Three of five. Three plus five is eight. Oh my gosh. We've got for the Calgary Flames, numbered 17 of 36, Brett Kulak. One plus seven, eight. Triple jersey number to 40 of O'Reilly, Reinhardt, Ristolainen, 22 of 40. 22 of 40. 2 plus 2 plus 4 is 8. And number 241 of 249, rookie patch auto, Brendan Ranford. Dallas Stars. All signs are pointing to an OV. Yes. You are accurate, my friend. So here's the thing, though. Is that the case hit? Obviously, the three boxer. Is that the case hit? The Goudreau. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, 241 might. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I love it. You don't think so? Okay. So an out of five Johnny Goudreau. Not case hit. I like it. I hope not. That'll be awesome for you guys. I guess we'll find out. Well, we got a rookie dual auto rookie gear. Uh, dual auto rookie booklets. Dual auto rookie booklets. So, we got that one. Rent Burns 1-1. Number to 171, 249, O-E-L. Anyone want to guess who the booklet's going to be? Dual Auto Rookie Booklet. We've got number to 36, Gold Rookie Auto of Corpus Salo. Corpus Salo. I'll hold this one to the end. We've got a triple, which will be random, number to 40. Of Ekblad, McKinnon, Panarin. So Chicago, Florida, and Colorado. If VC's on this, I will somehow really wonder what happened. <laughs> and we've got for the Carolina Hurricanes, 249, Cam Ward. Like, how did they get him in a year before the product came out? All right. Dun, dun. Dun, dun. Dun 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 dun. I I I. Oh boy. I think somebody got it right. Oh yeah. Number sixteen of eighteen. Dual autograph rookie booklet. Connor McDavid and Dylan Larkin. Well, that'll be a fun random. Um, again, as I said earlier, if you guys want to just pure out, sell, and split, more than happy to do that for you guys. But I would need to know from both of you guys. But holy jeez, you guys are more than happy to sell and split if you guys wish. Or we random it and you guys have some fun. So whoever's got those, congrats, by the way. But my gosh, that is fun. That's not a fair random. I know. I feel so bad if I have to random it, but it is what it is. That'll be one of the bigger randoms, I think. 
I'm trying to remember. I know we did way back in the day. We did a, a huge random once. I'm trying to remember what it was. Okay, so I feel like I'm pretty confident saying that's the case here, yeah? It shouldn't be random? Well, that's not up to me. As I said, if the two buyers or one, uh, like they want it to be done, that's not up to me. <laughs> if that's not the case, then holy jeez, guys. Gretzky Hall in 11K. What was that one? It was shockingly very good memory. 249 Anaheim Ducks, Corey Perry. The dual stick. Oh, nice. For the Sharks, the 249. Beautiful rookie patch auto of Don Skoy. Don Skoy. 249. We've got for the Ottawa Senators number to 68. Honorable numbers dual patch auto, Mike Hoffman. Uh, who's number one and who's number whatever Detroit was? Are the two guys in the room at least? Or girls, obviously, if they took them. Ah! I like this finish. We've got number 21 of 25, Enshrinement's Autograph, the theme of the evening, Alex Ovechkin. Hard signed Enshrinement's Autograph, Alex Ovechkin. That's nice. This is a hell of a three boxer. Hard sign too. For the Islanders, four of 12 gold, Ryan Strom. Four minus 12, eight. And we've got number 249, Peter Forsberg for the Avalanche. There we go, ladies and gentlemen.